Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Be Axe, your boy Daddy Easy here. I put Jabra Hacker, otherwise known as only using the Tomahawks. Some of you guys may know me as Easy, like I always say, to the black, to the blue, my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So, guys, today I am going to show you something that a lot of people been trying to do. I searched every video on freaking YouTube how to get this thing to work. Nobody can't come up with no, no video. Basically is use a mod mic, stick it to the headset, run it through it like that to run wirelessly. I am going to show you how to use your Oculus Quest 2 headset microphone to live stream and record live gameplay. And it's simple. What you need is a PC. That's it. If you have a Windows 10 PC, you're good to go because... It's a couple of programs that you actually need. One of the programs you are going to need to purchase. So basically, you're going to need virtual desktop. And you're going to also need um, a, a paid version of um, virtual desktop, which you're going to have to buy from the Oculus Quest Store for the Quest 2 or whatever way, how you decide to go about doing it. That's basically how the way you're going to do it. So go to the website. I'm going to put links in the description where you need to go at. Most likely, if you're watching this video, you already have virtual desktop if not i'll put the link in the description where you basically need to go basically the only thing you need to do is just go to the website download virtual desktop to your desktop once you download it you'll get this right here which i'm just going to open it up for you guys in my center right here so this is basically the settings that i personally run with i run with h.264 um, um that's better for me for recording um other people may run with um, this right here or auto I go with this because I get the best quality I get the best stream um, I don't run into a uh, lag like I used to do sorry if my allergies is bothering me that's why I'm like scratching my eye but these are the settings I run with right here and basically this is what you're gonna need to do to get the headset microphone to run on your oculus quest 2 so let's start one once you do this you need to do another thing and that's basically this you need to open up your Xbox companion app right here okay so this is basically all you need to do so once you go in here you just need to go into your settings and you go to general right so this is basically the main part of everything right here that you're gonna run to get this whole thing to work and get everything basically to get that microphone running so give our two desktop started up take your headset which mine's is right here Run virtual desktop inside the headset, get everything up and running in the headset like that. Um, so once you get it started, you might run into a situation. Hold on, let's get my nose guard actually popped up. Okay, once you got everything popped up inside the headset and stuff like that, you might get a little you know questions and ask you everything like that. Inside the headset, you want to go and turn on like simple things. Hold on, because my things just popped on. Okay. So, my, my question is popped on. Sorry, my allergies is killing me. <laughs> Eyes itching. Um, as you just seen, I got like a little lag, which this is in post production, so I'm gonna actually be editing that out and stuff like that. But my question is actually one now. So, as you can see right now, my headset just changed. Now, one of the programs I do use, I do use the Elgato software, capture software, because I do have Elgato products. Um, I have a 4K HD 60 Pro. Um, I have the HD 60s, HD 60, HD. I just got all of them. <laughs> so, um, inside this thing, I normally run this. So as you can see, virtual desktop audio, I run this like this. So when I'm using my, um, OBS, I have different things that I'm running, especially like with my H, um, HD 60s, I have it to my second computer. So when I'm streaming from my second computer, I need the audio to go through the second computer from this computer so the audio is actually being picked up from it like that or if I got to connect it, just different things like that. So this is one of the main pro programs I personally use. Um, you don't have to. Uh, you may see the screen just cutting in and off. That's because my headset is going from sleep mode back into it because the strap is going over the view part right there. So, but as you can see right here, you see where it says this. Now, what I would normally do is I normally would have this running right now. So when I'm using the um, Xbox, um, the app bar, the Xbox bar, and I'm recording my gameplays when I'm doing my recordings, I would use this to use my microphone on it. Um, because sometimes when I try to use uh, NVIDIA um, Shadow Play, whatever like that, it won't record. And 
a lot of times I can't use OBS because when I'm doing certain things and playing certain games, I can't use OBS and play PC games at the same time. I got to upgrade my CPU and my GPU. That's my thing. I'm going to update it soon, but, <clears throat> but <laughs> anyway, um, I got this set right here where it says microphone, virtual desktop audio. So I got that set up and basically right there. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to do a recording. I'm going to throw on my headset, go into virtual desktop. You're going to notice that I'm going to be able to do everything via VR. And I'm going to basically uh, set this up. And I'm going to basically touch the microphone. The microphone is right here next to the volume button on a Quest 2. So let me just throw my headset on right now. I didn't understand that. Sorry about that, guys. My freaking phone just like listening. Okay. Sorry if y'all getting this little freezes and stuff like that. So that's because I got this one. Okay. Okay. I want to switch this over really fast. Let me just use the controllers. Environments, uh, daytime, okay. Okay, so I'm back inside virtual desktop. Okay, as you can see, I'm controlling everything with virtual desktop. So if you can see, I can actually minimize that. As you can see, I'm just using virtual desktop right now to control everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my game bar to record the audio. So let me just find out where my desk is at, okay? And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit Windows, L, and R to do a recording, but I gotta put up a Windows real quick so you guys can hear it. Let's just throw that window up. Okay, so we right there. And I need to get the headset up. Sorry guys, headset just keep falling on my eyes. Um, Windows L R. One more time. Windows L R. So what I'm doing is right now I'm just getting up my sound bar. I mean not my sound bar, my game bar for my Xbox. And I gotta get this thing out of the way. This, this is basically what's controlling everything. Okay. So now we're recording. Um, I don't know if y'all be able to see it on the screen, but there's an actual recording right here while I'm moving around, but y'all can't see it as I'm looking on the screen. So, um, I'm recording. As you can hear what's going on, um, I'm going to be putting the screen right now, like the video right now on the screen. This is post production right now. Um, so, y'all can actually hear the recording. Actually, y'all might not can't hear the recording right now because the volume is muted. So, let me turn that up real quick. Okay, now the audio should be recording right now. And, um, yeah, so now I'm talking through right now. So, if I do a clap right now, that's what I'm going to do when I'm doing in post production. So what I'm going to do is right now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to rub it on the microphone right now, which is where the volume button is. So you should hear that clicking, clicking, clicking sound. So what I'm going to actually do right now is so you can tell and see that this is legit. I'm going to actually play that video right now as I'm using my headset right now. And I'm going to actually stop the recording. So let me pop up my headset. Windows L and R. Stop the recording. Okay. Now my hair is messed up. The screen might jump again because um, I took off my headsets. Okay, so we're going to go towards the window. Um, videos. Capture. Okay, here we go right here. I'm going to just move this to the side. So, you're going to actually hear the video pop up in a second. So, let's put that right there.
you might see some lag and stuff because all that stuff is going on in the background. Got 100% use of CPU. I just want you guys to see it's actually a video. Um, I know it's gonna lag right now, but um, let's play right now. Okay. okay. So, so now, now we're recording. recording. Um, I don't know if you're gonna see it on the screen, but there's an actual recording right here while we're moving around, but I can't see it as I'm looking on the screen. So, um, I'm recording as you can hear what's going on. Um, I'm gonna be putting the screen right now, like the video right now on the screen. This is post production right now. Um. So, so y'all can, can actually hear the recording. The actually, y'all might not can't, can't hear the recording right now because the volume is muted. So let me turn that up real quick. Okay, okay now, now the audio should, should be recording, recording right now. now. And, and um, um, yeah. So, so now I'm talking to you right now. So if I do a clap right now, that's what I do when I'm doing post production. So what I'm gonna do is right now I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna rub it on the microphone right now. Okay, so I'm gonna mute it right there. So you actually heard right there exactly what I did everything. This is the recording that I just did that you're seeing on the screen of me just putting up my windows right here and actually just doing a recording like that. That's how you actually get it done, guys. Um, That's basically all you need. You just need the Xbox app, companion app, which is on everybody's computer. That's basically all you basically need. Um, Run the, the uh, headset. Make sure you have Virtual Desktop installed on your PC. Make sure you installed it on the um, app. So I think they still got a sale going on for 15 bucks, but you can get it for about $15. If not, it's $19.99. You get that. Go to SideQuest, install the patch that's on side it. Um, I'll put the links inside the description for a SideQuest before you can get that patch. Throw the patch on side of it like that so you can actually run everything wirelessly. Um, Because most of y'all, uh, if y'all are, if you do have an Oculus Quest 2, most likely that you do have um, Virtual Desktop already. This is the way you can actually do it, and basically, you just do the exact same thing. So if you want to do this on um, OBS, only thing you got to do is just go to the OBS, open up the um, microphone part, get Virtual Desktop Audio, which is going to be Oculus Virtual Desktop Audio, and you can go full wireless. You don't need a mod mic. You don't need any of that extra accessories. You can play your game through OBS just like that, just by using that, going wirelessly, and you're 110% able to go, and you only spend 20 bucks. And that's just for virtual desktop. No more using any extra accessories. No more sitting up there. Gotta say that I gotta buy this and I gotta buy that. You know, I just started playing around with stuff and actually just came across it. And I hope this guy on um, this video helped out you guys. Um, this video is going to post production. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace, deuces, one, and I'll catch you guys later. Holla, and I'm out of here.